Welcome to the Life Tidy. My name is Catherine. Have you had enough? Enough dusting, enough organizing, enough reorganizing, enough purchasing more items in which to contain the stuff that you're dusting and organizing and reorganizing? Have you had enough of digging around trying to find what you're looking for, but there's so much stuff that you can't find it, so you just go buy another? Have you had enough? Are you looking to simplify your life down to the place where you're content with enough and are not overburdened by too much when it comes to material possessions? If so, you might be interested in the decluttering challenge I created for my The Life Tidy Facebook group. It's called the Enough Challenge. So you get to decide how the time frame in which you do this, whether you do one letter a day, one letter a week, one, all the letters in one day, whether you do it an area at a time, you get to decide all that. The main thing is, is each letter of the word enough is going to represent one particular sort of item we are going to declutter. And I tried to make this challenge so that none of the things we will be decluttering in it are too emotionally difficult to declutter. There are a lot of things that are emotionally difficult to declutter and this is just a simple decluttering, just excess stuff that you don't need and aren't going to use anyway. So you might as well get it out of your space. So, let's begin. The letter E. Expired items. In your food pantry, in your spice cabinet. So if you clip coupons, coupons expired. Your makeup and beauty products, expired sunscreen. I mean, if you're using sunscreen and it has gone through a winter and maybe it's sat out in the garage and froze, or set up in the garage at 120 degrees, you definitely want to give yourself the benefit of having not expired sunscreen, and me in particular. Anything that can expire, that has expired, you should kiss it goodbye. Throw it away, um, it just, it needs to go away. It's just taking up space and it's probably not beneficial to you to use it anyway. So. Um, N, the next letter N, never used items. We all have them in our house, things we purchased because we were going to exercise every day on our new exercise equipment and we did it for a week and then it's there. Snowshoes, toys that your children have long ago outgrown that are still taking up room in their toy box or the space where they have their toys that they never play with but they're still always part of the mess. They can go away. Clothes you never wear. Coats you never wear. You don't have to just donate this stuff. You can sell stuff. The next is letter O. This represents one-time use items that you know you're not going to use again. And this would be things like bridesmaid dresses, prom dresses, maybe a Halloween costume that you're not going to wear again, or something that you bought for a special event. All of those one-time use items can be decluttered. And U is for uncomfortable clothes or accessories. Because let's face it, if they're truly uncomfortable, you're not wearing them anyway. And when you put them on, when you do wear them, you're miserable. So you might as well not have them taking up space in your wardrobe. Uncomfortable clothes, shoes, accessories, coats, that sort of thing. Anything. Earrings that hurt if you, you do clip earrings. I mean, unless you don't mind being uncomfortable. <laughs> but most of us, if something is truly uncomfortable, it's going to hang in our closet and when we look at it, we're going to go, mm, yeah, but that drives me crazy after half an hour. That can just just donate those. It might not be uncomfortable for someone else. Some people can wear wool. For some people, wool is extremely uncomfortable, so you might as well just not have it. Next is G. G is garbage, like actual trash, garbage. Places to look to find this would be our purses. Are there gum wrappers in there or empty Tic Tac containers or um, receipts that we need to 
either file or throw away. You can look for garbage in if you have a junk drawer where stuff kind of just gets tossed. Maybe, maybe it's something that's broken and it's been sitting there for three years because I might fix it someday. If you haven't fixed it and it's been there for a long time, it's obviously not a priority to you. If you have a file of like the instruction manuals for your appliances in your house and maybe you don't have those appliances anymore. So, gee, garbage. Easy to declutter. It takes time and you gotta look through a bunch of old stuff, but why do, you, why do we even have it? But we all have it in our houses and it's just, let's just get rid of it. And then H. How many of these do I really need? And this is taught, referring to things that we may have multiples of. So in my case, I noticed the other day when I was doing something that I have like seven pairs of scissors in my house. It's so funny, even when we're pursuing minimalism, the things we still find that we're kind of horny about for whatever reason. And if we think about it, there's probably a reason back there somewhere, but I don't need that anymore. So I decluttered some scissors. There's so many items in this category that just look around your house and see what do I have so many of that I don't really need and then declutter some of them. And you can give yourself, you know, grace and maybe if you have seven pairs of scissors, get rid of two of them. And then maybe next year when you're coming along doing this again, you can get rid of two more. This challenge is not meant to be emotionally difficult. It's just meant to be practical and to get rid of things that we're really not using anyway. So enough. Expired things. Things you never use. One time use things. Uncomfortable clothes. Garbage, actual trash. And how many of these do I really need? So, go forth into your house, whether you want to do this all in one day or do E on Monday and on Tuesday, however you want to separate it out, the guidelines are just E-N-O-U-G-H. Enough, because we've had enough of living with too much and we want to develop a, a lifestyle of living and being content with enough. Now go forth and live your loosed, intentional, focused, and empowered the lifetime.